Hi, this is Matt Hamilton from 25 to Life Magazine. I'm here with Ryan Delaire, former Towson football player and NFL draft hopeful. Hi, Ryan. How's it going? Everything's fine. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. So, obviously, you're you know looking forward to the draft or hoping to get drafted. So, let's you know move back to when it first began. I know you weren't originally a football player, so why don't you talk a little bit about what you were doing in high school? Well, in high school, I was originally um, a basketball player. I had high hopes to go to college from basketball, basically. I was doing AAU tournaments, I was doing different basketball camps, I was doing everything. And um, it, just, it just didn't go so far for me. Um, I wasn't getting recruited by anybody big. Um, I was just, I mainly realized that I had to play football. I had to do something different in order to get to college. Mm -hmm. And what did you like about football when you first started it? I mainly just liked the brotherhood that it had. Um, I felt like everybody had a, a major part major contribution to bring towards the team to get a win. So well, that was something that I really liked. Mm -hmm. And as you're playing football, obviously you made it to Towson. So when did you first realize that, you know, football could be something that I can play in college and maybe even farther than that? I realized um, when I was at my last school, and I was younger than the majority of like, you know, all the players when I first got in and I was, I was beating a lot of the older guys ahead of me. I was um, able to pass rush really well compared to everyone that was in my age group. So I felt like you know I could probably make, possibly make it at the next level. So you get to UMass and you make this football team and you start working. So what what were you working towards? What was your main goal there? Mainly, to be honest, I was just working towards getting play time. That was the first thing I wanted to do, just because I registered in my freshman year. I wasn't fully ready. I wasn't um, weight ready. As far as like I was undersized coming in, so that was one thing. That's the first thing I wanted to do, just to be able to play in the game. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we know you transferred to Towson. So why do you think UMass didn't work out? Mainly because we had a whole new coaching staff. Um, they had a whole new different system that I didn't really want to be a part of. Um, I, I like the way they use their defensive ends at this school, so that that pulled me towards Towson. Mm -hmm. And when you got here, what was the mentality like, and what did you what did you like about what you saw here? I saw that everybody really wanted to work. Everyone was motivated. Um, compared to like where I used to be at, I mean, a lot of people was just trying to have fun. You know, they, there was more concern about like the social life instead of just the football life, and you know, going towards getting the win every week instead of just hopefully looking forward, forward to a win, but knowing at the end of the night you might be able to have fun with your friend. But here, there was just way more focus on football. Mm -hmm. And you start playing and you start, you know, getting better and better at Towson. Uh, the same question goes here. When did you realize that maybe this was something you could do after college and this is something that could be in the NFL? Um, I mainly realized that after my first year at um, Towson just because I spoke to my coaches, and he just basically told me, if you keep your head on straight, if you stay motivated, you can possibly make it to the next level. Mm -hmm. And you had a great career here at Towson, and now you're transitioning, you're you know, heading towards the NFL draft, you've had these workouts, you've you know, performed for teams, met with them. So what is life like now, you know, trying to find a fit with a team and basically trying to find a job to go forward with? Mainly now, all, all I'm doing is just getting calls from different teams. Um, they just want to know, like, you know, basic information. Who's your agent? Is this a number that I can call? Call you during draft day? Um, any information that they didn't get, like, as far as, like, say, where, I'm, where I trained at, or if they miss anything at the combine, they may ask me that, at that moment on the phone. So that's what I'm doing right now, just taking phone calls and just working on it. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like this is kind of like, uh, you know, a normal college graduate going to find a job, or do you think this is a whole different type of thing? Um, to be honest, this is a whole different type of thing. I mean, not too many people get drafted in America. Mm -hmm. Not too many people make it to the NFL in America. Like, plenty of people get jobs, you know. Plenty of people get 9 to 5, plenty of people apply and everything like that. I feel like this is something beyond that kind of level that separates other people 
from you know the regular working class. Mm -hmm. And is that why you you know keep pushing towards this? Yeah, I keep pushing towards it because I feel it. I feel like I'm really close to it. Like I feel like I can taste taste it. You know what I mean? I've, I've worked out with different NFL guys. I've seen NFL guys. I've played with NFL guys that were in college with me. And like although like I had a great education, I had a good, you know, GPA and everything like that, I'm just really hungry to make it to the next level of football. Mm -hmm. And what would you tell these teams, the draft is coming up April 30th, so what would you tell these teams about yourself that, you know, they would want to know? One thing that they would want to know about me is that um, I haven't been playing football for that long, but at the same time I'm really motivated and I'm willing to learn. And I always try to put extra time in, whether it's me saying I have to practice or if it's me saying I have to watch more film. Like I, I love, I love learning more about the game because I mean, I haven't, I mean, I haven't been playing that long, so I'm always motivated. That's that's one thing about me. Mm -hmm. And what would you tell? What advice would you give to people? You know, they're graduating, they're trying to find jobs. In general, what do they need to do? You think to be successful? As far as in football, are you talking about as far as just the college? In school? general, yeah. Oh, in general, just you know, stay motivated. Um, basically, have high hopes. Um, just, just won't, don't give up on anything like that. At the end of the day, try to separate yourself from everyone else. Have something that you can show that's different. I could, you know, basically put yourself on a pedestal compared to everyone else. Mm -hmm. And what are your expectations going forward? I know the draft's coming up, and hopefully you'll get drafted and end up on an NFL team. So what are you expecting out of all of this? Um, out of all of this. <clears throat> To be honest, I just want to play, make it to the next level. Whether I'm drafted, whether I'm not drafted, the main thing I'm looking forward to is just making it through camp, making it through OTAs, whatever it may be, then veterans camp, and just making the 53 man roster. All right, guys, this is Ryan Delaire, former Towson football player. Watch out for his name April 30th to May 2nd in the NFL draft.